And so I know that this is an iPhone, but this is essentially what it would look like. Um, it would allow you to go in and create these very simplistic data entry forms to be able to do data entry in the field. Um, you would be able to map those particular objects on a map. You'd be able to take images of the specimen, etc., etc., and then bring those all back with you and um, put them into your collection. Two of the other things that we're looking at doing is developing iPad applications for collections as well. Um, one of them is called Specify Insight, um, which would allow you to interrogate your collection from an iPad. You would be able to look at all sorts of, of statistics associated with your collection, all sorts of mapping, um, graphing technologies. You would then also be able to search your collection by agent or by collection object or by geography or by taxonomy um, and be able to see all of the objects in your collection. Um, you would go in and get a list of objects in your collection and then you would be able to see much the same sort of functionality that you can see from the web browser. Um, you would be able to see images, map it on a map and see all of the data associated with that particular collection. Um, you'd also be able to do um, mapping technologies of multiple specimens in, in this kind of case and see the sort of distribution of different species at the same time. You'd also be able to search by taxonomy or search by geography um, and get an idea of what was found in a particular area or what you have in your collection from a particular taxonomy um, that, is, that is in your system. The other one that we're looking at developing is a life mapper application which functions very much the same as the life mapper application from within Specify. So we have um, a life mapper application here, functions in much the same way. Do a search for a species, it will give you a listing down the, down the left hand menu. You can then click on one of those and it will map that particular object um, on the map. The nice thing about this particular incarnation is that you can actually interrogate each one of those points and see which museum that record came from um, and what the catalogue number is so that you can um, request those specimens or, or, or delve deeper into the specimens to see where they come from. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but you can see up on the map at the top there that this is a North American specimen but there's a spe a one dot that's sitting out there on Mongolia. That's obviously because their latitude and longitude are incorrect and so you would be able to interrogate that point and get hold of the institution and let them know that there's potentially a problem with some of their data. So that's essentially the end of my presentation. I hope that I've given you a good insight into what Specify would be able to do for you. Um, we'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. If, if you want to contact us, um, go to the Specify website um, and look up any of our names and feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to help.